Uh, this is the tenth hole for Daniel Van Tonda. Going along very nicely today. And 31. Looks like he's having a crack at it. That's pretty good. Yeah, if he gets a lie there, that shouldn't be a problem. Made an eagle on the sixth hole. Tenth hole, Danny Van Tonda, big drive. Uh -oh. That just flew out of there. Okay, with a square club face, it just rocketed across the green. Third shot now for Danny Von Tonda at the 10th. Well, an excellent tee shot followed by certainly one poor chip and that was indifferent as well. Struggling for, a, all of a sudden you're struggling for a par. This is Van Tonda back on the 11th, second shot. Going on really nicely today. And the pool is round today. Mm. Lovely shot. That's, not a hole that's, that's a perfect spot speed. there. Speed than anything. Well done, Danny Von Tonda. <laughs> A sparkling round of golf this is second eagle of the day and he ties the leaders Drysdale and Harding 12 under he clearly likes the camera too terrific putt very upright backswing and reroutes it Another good one. We haven't seen anybody hold that putt today. Maybe we will in a sec. Thank you, it was Marcus Armitage, wasn't it? It wasn't uh, Justin Hardy. But it worked out a lot better when he didn't take the driver, when he didn't feel comfortable with it. And that is another eagle for Danny Von Tonda. Third of the round, two in a row. And he vaults into the lead at 14 under par, two ahead. Three eagles. I can't remember that. What's the chip in like for Van Tonda? Got the flag out, he fancies it. Mm, he had a go at it. Van Tonda with a return part. He makes his par there at 13 to stay at 14 under. Two ahead. Our leader at the par 3, 14. Talking about that young man's form in South Africa. He won four times in nine starts last year. That's some golf. Interesting, it's like a toe down. And Steve Stricker putts like that extremely effectively. This chance we've had to see his swing from the down the line perspective. It's a unique one, as Jamie was saying, takes it back on a very straight line. What an upright plane and then drops it down onto a more appropriate striking plane, but on that occasion, didn't quite get it right. Down the grip to give him control, quite a compact swing, nudging it forwards and letting the just release up the green and pretty well played from an awkward spot. Big part here, keep the round going. Looks good with the putter. Thank you. 17, a 
374-yard par four. Dog leg from left to right. Today, cut on the front left corner, just over the front left bunker. So ideally, get it down the right side of the fairway and give yourself a good angle into the flag. He's having a go at it, Tim, with the driver. We saw Scott Hent. We drive it in the front bunker yesterday. Yeah, a bit more breeze up today. Yeah. He's a strong lad. He's going to give it a crack. Confidence is up. Interesting left elbow. Sure if he likes it or not. Fantana's just walking up where I was discussing right of the bunker. He's actually pacing it off to the top of the mound, which is just right of the bunker, short of the green. There was a uh, big rake that was going to be in his way. He made sure he got that out of the way so it wouldn't knock his ball back. But clearly, he's going to play out to the right. I think if he gets it within five yards of the green, short right, he'll have a really nice little pitch up into the hill pretty straightforward up and down. If you try and take it on, get it in that bunker without much room to play, you're bringing five into play. At this point, he's got a two-shot lead. He's got a great round going. But there's 37 and a half holes left to play. You don't throw you don't take a silly chance and bring in double bogey. Looks to me like he's got a very cool head on his shoulder just playing out to the right. Nice little uphill line. The ball's sitting perfectly. He can play any shot he wants. It's all uphill to the hole. The first half is more severely uphill, so he's pitching into a slope. Well, he's six out of six in getting up and down today, but that will test him. Fantasma not taking any time at all. It's pretty straightforward, but not a lot of break, but there is execution. Two-shot lead in hand. Will it stay two? Yes, it will. He's holed out well, hasn't he? Not just for the Eagles, but a couple of par putts been important as well to keep him two ahead. And just the 18th to play for the South African. Final tee shot of the day for our leader, and it's not an easy one. Wind coming out of the right over the brow of a hill. Can't see the landing area. The key here is right center of the fairway with this three wood so it doesn't run through. Absolutely perfect. Fantander is in the middle of the fairway and perfectly placed here. Laid back a little bit far, left himself quite a lengthy shot in. The wind has died down. What there is is from the right, but only a fraction of what it was 20 minutes ago. That was a good bounce. Watch where that comes out. Short left of the green. Very lucky. Say the least, the flag cut hard on the right. If that had gone deep into the trees, it could have been in all sorts of bother. He doesn't seem to know where it's come down. Trying to get up and down. Van Tonda again. Terrific shot. Had a break with his second. He certainly made the most of it. Fantando doesn't take his time. He's ready. Inside right. Well, would you believe it? Bogey at nine. And it's a drop shot at 18, I'm afraid, for Daniel Van Tonda. But it is still a round of 64 on those three Eagles, including back-to-back -back threes at the par fives. 11 and 12.
Good day's work, and he will take a one-shot lead into the final two rounds. One clear of Scotland's David Drysdale hunting that first European Tour victory at the age of 46. And last week's winner, Justin Harding. So much to look forward to over the last two days. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.